So here we go, it's the beginning of the journey. AFTV in Russia. We've got three flights to make today. Where we gotta go? First of all, we gotta go to Warsaw in Poland. Then from Warsaw on to Moscow. Then from Moscow to Volgograd. Volgograd? Volgograd. Um, which is where England are going to be playing. That's where we're going to be following England around. We're going to be following various teams around. We're going to be following fans around. Come with us on our journey. It's 3.25 in the... No, 3.35 in the morning. See, that's how tired I am. I don't even know what the time is. 3.35 in the morning. I can't see troops. He ain't reached yet. Let's hope he gets here on time. in Poland, Warsaw, leg one of the trip. That was a bumpy ride, man. But here we go. Now to go to Moscow. About to get on the plane now in uh, Poland. We'll be leaving from Poland now and heading to uh, Moscow, uh, where we're then gonna be stopping over for a little while before we then head on. Where are we going? I keep forgetting. Is it Volgograd or something Grad we're going to be going to, right? So, um, yeah, we made the connection and this was very important that we made this connection, so I'm so pleased we've done that. So, yeah, we're on our way, man. Weather looks nicer in Poland. Sorry I wasn't able to stay longer in Poland because Poland is such a nice country, but uh, maybe our next time. Maybe Europa League. Here we go! Mexico! Mexico! <laughs> Mexico! <laughs> I'm not sure why they're all singing. They're Mexican fans. I've got Germany in the first game. <laughs> Goodbye, Poland. It was nice for uh, 45 minutes, but Russia, here we go. So we're here, we're on Russian soil, we're in Moscow again. Yo. Back again! <laughs> Come on, know the thing already. Jesus. Jesus, <laughs> wake up. <laughs> oh, noise. So this is where you've got to pick up your fan ID. Um, of course, you don't have to have a visa to get into the country like what we did when we came for the CSK in Moscow game. You don't need a visa for the World Cup, they've waived it, but you've got to have a fan ID. To get fan ID, you've got to have a ticket for the game, um, and then you get fan ID, and that gives you access to get into the country and to get into the games. If you ain't got a fan ID, <coughs> so we're getting fan ID. So we're still in Moscow, um, we're doing about three hours at this airport. Um, you can see the planes in the back, Aeroflot, their national airline. We had to go and get our fan ID, I've got that. You can't get into any games or you can't even get into the country without this, right? So if you're coming here and you haven't got your fan ID sorted, make sure you get it sorted before you come here. You won't be able to get in. Um, we had got our fan ID in advance. Well, not in advance, we'd, we'd already got it electronically. We had to then pick these up. Oh my God, it was a long, long wait. One poor girl. I mean, look after a queue of like loads of people it took ages to get through so um, I'd suggest you know you, you do that early um, 
that was the that was pretty badly organised. I thought um, I felt sorry for the poor girl, but when you got up there, she was so friendly that you just had to give her a, a, a you know just give her a pass on it. But the fan ID picking it up takes a long time. But apart from that, I must say again, so far I've been pretty impressed with Russia. Um, everything else has been pretty well organised. I've seen so many fans of so many different um, countries. Uh, there's been a lot of Peruvians, Australians. Their games coming up, of course. Denmark fans. There's fans from all over. I, I think this is going to be really good. Um, you know what I'm like. I say it as it is. I'm going to report it as it is. I know there's been a lot of tensions between uh, our countries, England and Russia, but I'm not a politician. I'm a football fan. I'm here to see football, and I'm here to see how it's all dealt with. And uh, so far, so good. Um, the only thing I'm a bit upset about is I'm going to miss the game, the Russian game, Russia playing against Saudi Arabia. That game starts at four o'clock and we're going to be in the air on our way to Volgograd. But when we get to the other end, hopefully the Russians have got off to a winning start. I think it's important that the home nation get off to a winning start and the vibes is good. Um, if they haven't got off to a winning start, they may not be too happy to see this. <laughs> but we'll see when we get to the other end. So Volgograd, here we come. Where are man? It's sunny here as well. And I, I, I got a change of attire for shorts I'm and so t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I slept, but I, I'm alright. I slept. I'm ready. Yeah, you sleep. No, I slept, lad. You sleep, make noise. Sleep, make noise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, 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 it keeps the journey exciting, isn't it? What do you prefer? Do you take a snapshot so you can sleep? That's why I'm so mashed. <laughs> We're here, Voldegrand. Look what I just found. Miles and Mickey. They got the England flag out. We're here. We've made it to Volgograd. Sports options. That's how it. You guys. Yeah. Were. <laughs> you know what? It was. Uh, it's quite a few flights that we made. Bit of a journey. Bit of a journey. Bit of a journey, but, yeah, of a journey, but we made it. It's been good. Though. It's been good. We met loads of, loads of fans along the way. We're going to take good. you into town now. Yeah. There's a great vibe in town. I'm telling you. Oh, it's really, it's really Russia, good. Russia have no, won. No Russia have won. Russia. Yeah. There's Russia. nothing like that. Russia are winning. When we left, they were winning two 0 Yeah. So people are happy. Everyone's looking forward. Everyone's making us welcome. You know. Yeah. So, so no problems. Fingers crossed uh, to be good. There's people yeah. saying if you walk around with an English flag, you've got problems out. Nothing like. Okay. That. Nah, they love it's you. It's not about running around with the English flag. You know, like maybe we just see how it goes for a few yeah. days. We'll send troops around. With everybody gets a bit of confidence. Put an English flag on him. Send him around. No. <laughs> oh, no, right, man, look, man, I just told them, yo, you, yeah. you, you, remember, you man remember us having you? Yeah, that's time. We all saw bad You get me? Yes. <laughs> It's good. Trust me, people are so friendly. And uh, of course, Russia won today, so they're so, so happy. We're about to go down to the beach side where this is the fan park, the fan fest. And uh, we're going to check it out. There's some music banging down there. Yeah, my ting. We're taking a little trip around here, but um, I think uh, they're saying it's kind of eased down a bit. Earlier on, it was crazy when Russia were playing, and we'll probably come down here tomorrow to check out the games here. But this is going to be banging. The weather's nice. I know what time. What time is it, troops? Uh, Half nine. Half nine. It's so warm here. Mad warm. You know, and it's good. It's safe. Look, look behind you. There's a load of security going on around here. Yeah. You see my boy here. Big up my version. <laughs> Back again. Let's take a little, let's take a little trip around the fan park, man.
So I'm back at the hotel now. It's 12 o'clock at night. Wow, it's been a long, long day, three flights. But you know what, it's been worth it. Um, we're in Russia, we're in a beautiful hotel. Fantastic hotel. We went down to the fan park, the fan park is awesome. The, the atmosphere and the vibes, the people are so friendly. And I think it's gonna be a fantastic World Cup. It's day one. Um, I can't wait until the England game, when England play, and uh, I can't wait till tomorrow. I can't wait till tomorrow to go into some, um, you know, into the fan park and to mingle with more fans. I met mean, so many fans along the way, and I think this is going to be a great World Cup. I think so far from what I've seen, in Volgograd is so well organised. Moscow looked alright as well. I'm really looking forward to this. So make sure you keep it here, locked here, watch our vlogs. Miles is out, Miles is tired. Sports Options, listen, respect to Sports Options. Um, they hooked up all the hotels and hooked up all the flights and everything, organized everything for us. Just like when we do all the Arsenal games and that, they're always on point. So Mark, that's why he's so tired. Yeah. That's why he's so tired, right? Because <laughs> trust me, it's a lot of work, but you know what? These guys are the experts, man, and that's why I travel with them. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. And it, even Troops is, he, Troops is tired over there. Look at him. I got a double brandy coming. <laughs> it's the first time he's been quiet all day, and that takes something to <laughs> oh, do. Oh, yeah, here's my brandy. I'm alive. Here comes the brandies. Live and kicking. Yes. Oh, Back again. Cappuccino for me. <laughs> <laughs> Cappuccinos. The brandies are here. Mars don't drink. The brandies are here. Um, we're out. Cheers and see you tomorrow.